So the first thing we need to do is go get the data. And the data for this tutorial starts around the Netherlands. And like it says on your screen, not all the Netherlands is flat. So we're going to look at this plateau. And I'm not going to even pretend to be able to pronounce these names. But basically Mount St. Peter, which has been a rock quarry for hundreds of years until about 2018 when it ceased uh, being a quarry. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the source LiDAR point clouds and make our own elevation raster. So we're going to follow the links given and, and ESRI has sort of compiled the tiling uh, of those particular uh, data sets that we're going to look for. So let's go ahead and do that. So here there is some background information for you if you'd like to go read a bit more about this particular site. Um, it's a plateau that's been artificially altered. Obviously, it's a quarry. And so it offers sort of an interesting space. Um, and then there are a series of data sets that have been done uh, on this particular area. So basically, one, two, and three that are publicly uh, available online. And, um, and all that is is in time. So we're going to use the number three one, which is the, the newest one, the 2019, 2014 through 2019. Um, there's also a presentation here that you can uh, look through. Uh, I think a lot of it's in Dutch, if I'm not mistaken. But um, it's sort of how they disseminated it, the data with QA and QC. Um, and so we're going to use these point clouds to make our elevation raster. So once what you want to do now is you want to follow this link here. All right. And that link will take you to the, another website. So here we are on the new website. I'm just going to center this a little bit. And you can see all the tiles here. And uh, the first time I did this, it took me a little while to figure out where, where the data is supposed to be. But what you want to do is zoom in down in this area here. And what I, I've already done that in a separate browser. But this, this is where this particular data sits, it's sort of down in this boot heel here. I already have it right there. So you want to find these this area. I'm going to go back to this here one more time. So it's down here in this lower southern region of the Netherlands. And what the, the tile that you actually want is this one right here with the word uh, Maastricht in it, I think. <laughs> um, here. So when I click on it, you'll see the, the footprint turns light blue. And then what we want from there is we want this one here, the AHN3 Putin walk. <laughs> Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but basically what that is, is that's the point cloud. Now these are fairly large files. I'm not gonna click on it because I already have it downloaded. This particular file is about 2.3 gigs, so it may take you a little while to download. So go ahead and click on that and download it if you haven't done so already. Like I said, I've already packaged up the data for you just to save time. But I wanted uh, to make sure that everybody understood where to go get that data. So once you have this do da uh, downloaded, you can then go to, I'm going to go back over to my, so we, there's the one you would like to get, right? We are, I just showed you that. They're big files. Now, the first time I tried this, I couldn't get it to work. Um, you go to this plsa.io. Um, in Chrome, it's got to be in Chrome, and you can load up the uh, this particular LAS file and set the density to 10% of the points. I couldn't get it to work. Mine never came up. Um, it, it, I'm not going to do it on in this video. Go ahead and try it. It's not a big deal if it doesn't work because you're going to see it in, in QGIS anyway. But um, I, I'd like to try it with a smaller data set. I think it just you know 2.3 gigs even showing only 10 percent of the uh of the the points can really be taxing on your uh computer um so i'm not going to do it while i'm recording here because i'm already probably bogging my machine down anyway so go ahead and take a look at that if it doesn't work for you don't worry about it you know give it some time it might take a little while maybe i was just being impatient <laughs> but uh try it if it doesn't work like i said you'll see it actually in um, QGIS eventually anyway. So the next, that's it for this video. It's a pretty quick video on just how to download the data, where to go to find the data, which tile to download, and then to visualize it if it works. 
in this particular website. So this is a pretty short video and I will see you on the next one where we're going to start getting into Anaconda.